Hi guys, my name is Nolo and welcome back to Beer and Beats podcast. I'm here with... Hi guys, my name is Liaho and yeah, welcome back to our podcast Beer and Beats mm-hmm. where we strive to celebrate our passion for alternative beer and alternative music. Yeah. So to carry on with your trip to Egypt, yes. we're going to be giving you guys a beer review of... Tiger Lager Beer. World acclaimed, so they say. 20%. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel the, like we have to say it because it's like on the... It's like, right there. It's right yeah. there. Now, if you go to uh, the app, mm-hmm. what is it called again? Untapped. Mm-hmm. They call it. They just call it Tiger 20. Oh, wow. Yeah. Tiger, like... So, they're just like, yeah, Tiger, Tiger 20. 20. You should know what you're getting. So, yeah. Yeah. Mm. 20%. We stepping up from like... Right? The from previous <laughs> episode. <laughs> we doubling down. The previous episode we did was the highest percentage we've we ever had, did. which is 10%. This is now beating that. Because, like, we went from nine, yeah, Warlord, mm. to ten mm. with, like, the Sakara. Yeah. Now we're doubling that to 20. So. At least 15, man. I know. Yeah, I know. Like, this was a big jump. <laughs> right? This is a big. Like, do you think there'll ever be another bear, like, commercially that we'll find? You never know. Because that's I the wonder. thing, right? I didn't know this existed until I went to Egypt. Yeah. So you never know. I mean, you never know. You, maybe there's a 30% out there and a 40%. <sighs> who knows? Because I'm you, like, are you still bare by then, though? I mean, if you say you're a lager, yeah, you're a lager. lager. I mean, if yeah. you're brewed with the brewing of the, right the brews. Ingredients, yeah. You're good. Then you're a bear. Okay. So, so yeah. we're about to do it? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to give you guys a housekeeping note yes. as Nora does the honors. So, as we said, Tiger 20, as it's like affectionately known online. Uh, the origin is Alobor City in Egypt. It was founded in... Ni- Whoa. Whoa! That was cool. Bend, um, yeah, all the way. Yeah, you're going to bend it in and then pull. That's the pulling. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. At least we have having one weird woman for like audio listeners. At least. Every like month should have one of those so yeah as i was saying alobor city in egypt is the origin founded in 1995 uh the category is a logger and this also is a malt logger mm-hmm. abv speaks for itself 20 percent like so far when i finally get whopping yeah <laughs> no nah, this, this is a whopping 20 percent like <laughs> and yeah so five criteria as you know mm-hmm. bottling and appearance taste um, price, mm-hmm. and we're going to be doing commercial equivalent and availability. Yes. So all those that have, if you've watched the episodes previous, yeah, we have profiled Tiger. Yes, before, we have. Yeah. But that was Tiger Singapore. Mm-hmm. Both companies are owned by Heineken. Yes. And they look exactly the same. The same packaging branding, is exactly same the everything. same. This is just the can version. Yeah. The Singapore one was in a bottle, yeah. a brown bottle. So. Um. But so I would say it's exactly the same for packaging and appearance, yeah, as no. we said with the Singapore one, because it's exactly the same. No, I actually want to do a test because this is a very common tactic. It's not often practiced. Okay. But it's a very old common tactic by big beer like manufacturers like the Macro Beer. Which is? If I were to ask you, where does Carling Black Label come from? What would you say? Everybody says South Africa. Yeah. But it's not. Yeah. Can I go, guy? Yeah. Is it Moz? Everybody. No? So, director says Canada. Sound, no, what do I you say? No, I know it's in South Africa. I mean, it's not Canada. Is it Canada? No, I just want to ask. Like, I just want to do a tell. Even I you at home. I thought it was Moz or something. Us. Wait. Yeah. Where does Carling come it from? It definitely is not South African. Yeah. No, no. this is why I want to do this test so that you guys can, can see guy? why I'm going with this. Yeah. Negative. Okay, tell us. So it's from the UK. So what used to happen back in the day is yeah. that big beer manufacturers, what they do is that they would like infiltrate your market by native advertising. Mm-hmm. So instead of like coming in with like a Heineken, mm. they will just like sort of like try. What is that area like? Yeah. And then they'll tailor their marketing to your native like mm. culture and like, you know, economy. Makes sense. So that's why like. The marketing of like Colin does not look like it's British at mm, all. Mm, They're mm. like advertised to us like mm. South African, like, yeah, we want of you, we want of you, we want of you. Mm-hmm. And they do that the same in Canada. So in all the former colonies, mm-hmm. yeah, that's what Carling did. Mm. It stepped all across mm. like regions and did like native advertising. So the same with Tiger, mm-hmm. like it's a whole brand, but the way they market in Singapore is for the Singapore market. Got you. So they do the five percent. But they're like, yo, Egypt, you guys you guys want the... Yes. So we're going to do that for you guys. But Got it's still you. Tiger. So the same way Carling's doing it. So look, shout out to Heineken for learning that trick. Yeah. And like... That's re- very clever. 
It is. So it's a very old tactic. Because mm, everybody thinks Black yeah. Label is from South Africa. And it really people. isn't. Yeah. <laughs> it really isn't. That I knew. I just forgot Wake. Yeah. UK. Mm. So I'm assuming Heineken, they bought these guys out. Mm-hmm. They're doing something very, very similar. And we bought the whole like Asia uh, Pacific breweries. Yes. yes. But what we're going to do is that in Singapore, we're going to market for the Singapore market. Yes. And then in Egypt and then in the other regions, in the Middle East, they're doing but something But they're similar. very good at marketing. No. Heineken is like brilliant with marketing. They kill it. No, because this is the this is the form of native advertising, but the mass advertising that they do, like with Heineken, is just mm. same ad all over the world. Yeah. Watch but the still, football. But still, it's also like very football. They also know like yeah, how... Yeah, watch the football. Because football is easy. Mm. The world loves football. That's you true. love our beer. Exactly. But this one's like a native advertising. Mm. Let's get into your market, learn what you guys drink, how you drink it, how you like it, and adapt yeah clever so, yeah there you go mm. but uh, i do like how it opens that's different it, it really is it in really terms is of packaging yeah so it's like a pull ring yeah because i was like, like how a, do i open this yeah so you have to pull it towards you <laughs> yes almost, yeah, and peels off which i like so i like that, that that's really cool man mm. that's really innovative and uh, so bottling and appearance what are we thinking so yes for me it's good because I, I was I'm shocked to see that I'd like both the bottle that they do in Singapore and, and the, the can. can. Mm. But they they really adapted it like well. They did. So yeah, now comes the the moment we've all been waiting for. I don't want I'm so scared. <laughs> the moment we've all been waiting for. Uh, I think we just taste. I feel like I'm gonna be drinking like a shot of something. Yeah, probably. Yo. Ah. Yo, this just Jesus smells Christ. like alcohol, dude. Do you know what I get? You know when you smell vodka? Yeah. No, but it... It, it kind of reminds me of straw rum a bit. Yes! Yeah. No, I want to drink. Come, <laughs> come drink. <laughs> I don't want to drink. I don't want to do it. Like, it's like the most <sighs> alcoholic... Um, what can I call it? Not even... Like, it's like sm- syrup. It's like a, sk- a spirit. It yeah. smells like a spirit. So syrup meets straw rum, almost, but... That's all. I, all I'm smelling is ethanol. Honestly, there's ethanol and some sugar in here. Dude, no, I'm not okay. okay. Rwando, Let's just Rwando. do it. It's just a sip. Mm. Yeah. Oh. No wow. man. <coughs> Dude, I took such a small sip. Oh, I took a gulp and I regret it so much. Oh. Mm. Uh-uh, guys. Dude, no. this, actually, this is warming the blood. No, I'm no. not lying. Is... I knew it. I knew it was going to mm. be like taking a shot or something. Wow. Mm-mm. Dude, I, the off, like, that's a shot. Uh-uh. Mm. Like, dude, it's, you know when you take a shot and you just feed it like permeate through your body? Just ah! that. <laughs> oh, what is in this? Bro? Okay, I want to just take another sip. Yeah. No, once it gets in the blood, it's, it's actually pretty good. This is yeah. Uh-uh. <laughs> you got uh-uh. you got dude. It's a shot, like straight up. Couple of yeah. lady ingredients. Do you know, do you know. I'm happy I checked this because remember... this is why I don't want to do this. I don't want to. I was like, I'm so happy. That time it's me who bought this beer, ne? Yeah. And I'm like, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. So what I'm seeing here, there is no barley in here. This is pure malt. So malt, water, hops. And brewed and canned. That's all they say. Jeez, man. This is like, this is rough. <sighs> this is rough. You know what, now? Mm. For the percentage. Wow. I've never had a 20% bear. No. So I can't say if it tastes good or bad. Or bad. Do you it's, get what I mean? Like. Look, man, it's an experience. Ah. It's a, it's, <laughs> look, if. This is one, I don't know what to say, honestly speaking. I'm I so re- glad we're shooting this. When the temperature outside is a bit cooler. It's a bit cooler today. Because having you know, this on a hot day. Yeah, you get disoriented. Imagine being in the desert having this. That's the thing, guys. Egypt is hot. Like, it's humid. It's hot. And you just... Whew. Imagine sitting... Oh, my God. Let's go in. No, let's go in. See, the alcohol now speaking to us. It's not even the, the taste anymore. Uh-uh. <coughs> uh-uh. It reminds me of something I've had. And I, and I was very young, and I got really, really drunk. What is it? Like a like a brandy? Something like that. Mm, like, I'm tasting brandy. Imagine if you made brandy and coke, but you put a little bit of coke and a shit yeah, ton yeah, of brandy. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know how people do mimosas, but a sparkling wine or champagne, and then they have sometimes like a drop of orange oh, juice. So do that with brandy, and then drop in some coke, 
And Dude, it's so strong. <laughs> oh, no. Uh-uh. I know what it's reminding me of. Have you ever did the whole, like, drop a, a, a shot in your beer? Like when yes! You a, yeah, like, take a People shot. People do that. That's mad. Yeah, so take a shot and just drop it in your beer and just check it. This is what I'm getting. I don't know. Not for nuts or no. I'm not drinking this. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I'm drinking it. I'm drinking it and I'm yeah, not drinking it. Yeah, no. Uh-uh. But, but, like, I'm actually, I'm fine, thanks. My question is, now, <sighs> to be honest, like, would you recommend this to anybody no. else? No. I wouldn't either. I wouldn't. I really wouldn't. Rather but, have the one of the previous episode, the ten percent. Ten percent is rather. A lot more you can definitely good. actually consume that one. I can't even tell the water balance of this. I can't no, tell it's just, the ah, body. It's just, just alcohol in your face. Ah, yeah, this is rough. It's a no for this me for rough. taste. Dude, you must hate mm-hmm. your life when you have this. Eh? Mm-mm. Yeah, dude, this is like I don't for, know if I'm getting a headache from the stress or from yeah. the actual alcohol. I mean, I wouldn't say you're a hobo, but you're definitely a vagrant if you like this. Like Dude. you just you are not trying to live. Also, your life. yeah, you're not you're not trying you're to not trying to do anything. No, because like, after you have. I'm so- thinking like, how are we even gonna finish a can? If by hook or by crook, bro. Water maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something. Um, but me, I wanna try and see. Uh, now I'm gonna finish this. Yeah. Also, we don't waste yeah, beer end here of on this episode. episode. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> we don't do the that. The previous one I didn't finish, and I kind of regret it because once it got warm, it got. Yo, ranked. when it got warm, ah! <laughs> it got really, really rank. No, it wasn't nice. So okay. It's a no for taste. Uh, it's a no for taste, honestly. Yeah. Ooh, eh. eh. I am okay. not an alcoholic. I've realized. I've learned this today. After today, yeah. yeah. After today. Because you're like, oh, me, I'll drink I, anything. Yeah, mm. nah. Nah, I have my limits. No, it's I'm good. definitely a beer snob, it's, so that's okay. Not I even that. that. I've just learned my limits. I didn't know I had limits. <laughs> I thought, yeah, yeah, any beer's good. Like, come on. Yeah, no, I've learned my limits. Not yeah, every beer's good. No. Yeah, no, this is... Look, it has its people. I'm not one of them. I wonder who those people are. You're vagrants. Oh, look at you. Hey. <laughs> No, you have some engineers like you have me, it's me. He hasn't even tasted it yet. No, but I can believe. Yeah, I've, I've seen been him out drink. with him. We all have. And what are spirit? Are cider? Are jelly baby? Jelly babies come hard. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? Yeah. And then you'll bump someone else's drink and then just add it. I'm ah, like, ah, yeah. So he would like it actually. Yeah. He's the only one. He's, I think he is. I think one. the only person I know personally that would actually that would drink actually this. Find this. But anyway, we'll find out after the episode. Yeah, no, you guys are gonna know by the next like <laughs> meet all of us. Roba yeah, you can actually ask us. Yeah. About like how we handled it after because yeah. there's three cans. And there's four of us, yeah. and drinking one can between the two of us is already it's a lot. Like, dude, but get. <clears throat> yeah, my ears are starting to ring just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. and you only had one, two, three sips. Yeah, no, the first gulp was just so big. Mm. Okay, next again. I was brave. I was brave. Price. 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 Oh, yes. Yeah. So I purchased so I this. I need to guess. Yeah, so Oof. yeah. Same uh, bottle store situation as the I'm last gonna, episode. Yeah, I'm going to be lazy. The other one was 33 <laughs> rand. This is. Twice the alcohol, so twice the price. So like sixty six. Yeah, let's just do a flat sixty bucks. Sixty like, rand. So did you do the buy individually? Yeah, individually, because there's no way I'm buying a six pack of this. Yeah. Not a chance. Even I should have bought two or one. No, nah, one <laughs> would look on... ridiculous on camera. Yeah, okay, on camera. That's yeah, the whole thing, that's right? The whole thing. No, we'll keep one for the studio, just like a reminder of what a bad beer looks like. <laughs> <laughs> well, not I don't bad. I think it's but, bad. Yeah, I just, no, but this one is extremely potent because we've had light beers that are bad. That are terrible. This is yeah. just a strong beer. No, this is a reminder of like. Yeah. No, this is like someone was gonna ask you a question if they see this in the studio. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and is that real? And we were <laughs> yeah, it's real. So yeah, no price. I think. Six, <sighs> yeah, I'm doing. I'm lazy now. Okay. I'm so drunk now because of this. I'm just. Yeah. Yeah. Fifty rand. Holy shit, this is for vagrants, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. If you're insulted, yeah, so... hey, bro, I'm sorry. What? Uh, no, if you, you're I... such a snob, actually. That's no, such a snobby thing to say. Is it not for vagrants? Yeah. Oh, you're not being snobby? 50 bucks f- for 20%. Snob- yeah. Give up a pal, more like, oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> this, this is just like I don't care about my life. Yeah. I want to be as fucked up as quick as possible yeah. or as cheap as possible. Yeah. Give yep. me that. Yep. Like, dude, there's no Facts. way you're going to save for this. No, you can't. Like, you can't enjoy it. No. It's just... It's not... It doesn't taste nice. Dude, I want to be drunk from my first sip. Yeah. That's what I want. That's literally what's going to happen. And the straw rums and... Yes. Because straw rum is actually a really good product. Yeah. It's just really... No, it is. 
No, like I, if you I get what of, you say. Yeah. Like, produce. Yes. Yeah. It's not for me either. No, no. That's no. for fancy vagrants. Utuag. Stop calling people vagrants. <laughs> What's wrong with you? No, I'm just saying, like, if you're drinking straw rum, something's wrong in your life. That is true. Yeah, if you, you're having it like the way people have yeah, straw rum. There's two things you need in your life a hug and a serious conversation uh, about like <laughs> just but you've had straw rub before. When uh, I was in varsity, yeah. Yes. As an experience. Yes. Yeah. But if someone comes to me and is like, yo, straw rung's my shit. No, no, no. I've Dude. never met anybody like that. If you are, I mean no judgment from me. I'm, ju- I'm Clearly, judging. on the uh, other I'm hand. Judging, on the other hand, no judgment no, 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 from no, no, me. No. I'm I'm judging. So <laughs> price is a yes? Oh, it's a definite yes. <laughs> like this is this is like really cheap. Yeah. For what you get, this Dude. is did you can have a party? That's another day. Yeah, like, no, definitely. <laughs> this like, really, it could be, it could go down. Actually, people should. You can have this as a sh- in shot glass. Yeah, it should like. And just have them like that. Like a, that would actually make more sense mm, based on how it tastes. That's minute, how you should have it. Yeah, yeah, that would be a lot more like efficient yes, use of this. Definitely. Okay, so availability is at the same situation. Yeah, it's the same the, as the as the Sakara. Yeah. So it's the it's like, find a shop really like look for it then yep find you have it. to literally google where the nearest bottle store is and it will be minimum 15 minutes away drive yeah minimum wow okay yeah. and so then, not available so when we do commercial equivalent is it still double vault i feel like this is just you are brewed the same way yeah although the same ingredient maybe not the same way but the same ingredients yeah but you are something else yeah i don't like, think we can compare it to double malt in yeah. But that means it gets it because, okay. dude, it just blows everything that we of think of in terms of beer, like, out of whack. Definitely. But if you guys have ever tried a 20% in any other and country, like, us, if, any, anyway, if it exists anywhere else, please tell us. Please tell us. We, we're going to find it if we yes, can and yes. try it. I remember somebody reached out to me. Ah, uh, who was it? Oh, yeah, Reggie, this guy that I met when I was living in Japan and he lives in South Korea. And he was showing me beers were like 30%. And like, it's nuts. And he was like, dude, this exists. I'm like, oh my gosh, if you ever can, can yeah, you please just like, like send us some. Like, so yeah. I think South Korea definitely has something like this. Egypt, now we know. Yeah. And then let us know where else. But for me, I'm wondering, is like, are those those like ready to drink pre-mix? You know, no, like, it's like a beer oh, like this. Beer. Hmm. They exist. You know, we once went on a beer talk. At Hazel Dean. Mm-hmm. And the head brewer there, Marius, mentioned that you can brew high alcohol beer, but it doesn't taste good. Yeah. Because you're sacrificing so much. Yeah. Like you're cutting the process when it's like, instead of maturing mm. and developing the taste, um, you're cutting it so short that you're getting the high alcohol. Yeah. I know exactly what he's talking about. Now. Yeah. Now yeah. you know what it tastes like. What he was talking about. Like now I, you ex- have an like, ex- Then I had, yeah. I now you like, have a physical experience of it. I my bearings it. now. Yeah, yeah, you're right, Marius. You're right. <laughs> You're right. He knows it's, what he's doing. Nah, he knows what he's doing, but keep doing what you're doing. Mm-hmm. So we're going to recap? Yeah. <sighs> let, me, let me breathe. Let me breathe. Like, I'm trying to bring the Dude, memories. I wanted to have another sip, but I cannot. I did. I did. Can you see? Um, this is the first time I'm going to drink more than you. Yeah, I it think. is the first time, yeah. actually. Bad hey, idea. Right. Bad idea. Okay, no, tell you. Um, bottling and appearance, we were happy. Yes. Taste was a hell no. No. Um, price... We yes. said yes, yes, yes. Availability was no. no. And commercial equivalent, it yes. gets it because you just... Yeah. So we have never had anything like this. Three out of five. Three out of five. Yeah, for a commercial? Yeah, that's Jesus, good. Egypt, like, what is going on there? Dude! Like, people, honestly. <laughs> the thing is that people are drinking this, Leho. Like, that's, if you go to the bars, people are buying this thing. It's not like, oh, it's this thing that sits in the corner somewhere that yeah. nobody knows. It's not some dingy It's thing, in the fridge, like, in the bar. In waiting the, for someone to it, order it and drink it. People drink this. <sighs> like uh, it's normal. If I insulted anybody, apologies. But this is foreign to me. Mm. Very foreign. No, people drink it. I mean, it's like basically having whiskey without anything. Yeah. Do you get me? Like, like straight up. If you order it like, yeah. And just water it. On, on the rocks, no ice. On so the I rocks, no ice. <laughs> this is what if this is. If you do that, it's the same. It's exactly the same except in a beer format. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. But yeah, so, people drink it, man. It's wild, I know, but it's it happens. They do. Yeah, three out of five. Okay, I'm happy. Are Dude, you... this is going through me. Bro. Are you okay, bro? No, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. It is I was going gonna be like, me. I need to check that, but I don't want to kill you on camera. No, that's fine. I can die. Would you? Me. That's cool. At the end, at the end, I'm gonna. So that at least you can speak about yeah, the like beats. let me get the beat section out the way before like I get so drunk and I'm like yeah now nah, done with this episode. I'm off. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. 
So to transition from like mm-hmm. an Egyptian common, is it common? Yes, yeah, it is common. Is a big brand, it's a big genre. Big yeah, in yeah. Egypt. So we're gonna transition from a big beer company yes. to a big genre that has just taken over all of Egypt. Yes. Everybody's doing it. I need to read it because I always pronounce it incorrectly. So so the cool kids are doing it. (laughs) Yes, yes, The alternatives are doing it. The ones in the streets are doing it. Listen, every day when you're on the streets, you can hear it. Yeah, so it's everywhere. So this is the Egyptian Amabiano, basically. Yes. So what is it called? It's called uh, uh, Mahraganat. Yeah, Mahraganat. Mahraganat. Ah, uh-uh. yeah, the H is Ka aggressive. Nad. The G is a G. Yeah, okay. Yes. Machrachanat. There we go. Yes. So yeah, this is a genre that I came across just doing research because mm-hmm. I wanted to find because the previous one was like trap. Mm. That's not that alternative. No, it's not, and it's also not very Egypt specific. Yeah. yeah. So now to like to just round off the whole trip, mm-hmm. I wanted to like really like burrow in and be like, dude, what is actually happening in the streets of Egypt? Yeah. And yeah, we came across Mahragnat. Mm. And what do you think? I like it. It's like basically like, I don't know if you've ever listened to uh, belly dancing music. Did you think, did you, you know, yes, like that whole yes, like yes, fast, I see exactly like, what you see. and then you add like a bit of pop beats to it. Yeah. And then that's basically like what happened. Yeah, I like it. Like, I really enjoy it. It's rap like, in Arabic. Yeah. Oh, when I'm on, when Simple I lyrics. Push, you yeah, know, yeah, it's yeah, very Amma yeah. Piano is based on the lyrics, especially because popular yeah. music is like that. Like, it's not very lyric based. No, it's very it's, like it gets you dancing. Hey, yeah, what a you know, like yeah. hey, 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 you know that whole Just thing. Just because like Mahraganat in Arabic actually translates if you translate it to English it mm-hmm. means festival. Mm. So basically, it's like festival music makes sense but when it started they were trying to put like a message yes so they're like we're gonna get you dancing but we want you to kind of think about what's happening in the streets because yeah. it comes from the streets of cairo because in the beginning it was super underground like yeah super like forbidden hectic they were still making it on like computers with keyboards like yeah. you know small studio mm-hmm. and now it's just blown up mm-hmm. blown up to a point whereby they started to ban some of the music yep so, but yeah. also blown up so much that their YouTube views are like 300 million. Yeah. Like, if, and it was released. 300 like million? Two years views. ago? Yeah. yeah. 300 That's insane. Million. That's quite popular. But then again, dude, if it's a two minute song saying bum, 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 okay, like, that's I mean, fair. That's fair. Yeah. No, no, we had this argument before. <laughs> we so Leo was just like, oh, bum, bum. I'm like, have you heard my piano, guys? Which one is better? <laughs> okay, I think let's leave it to the audience. Okay, yeah. yeah. So we're gonna put both like a popular Ama Piano song yeah. and a popular that's repetitive. song. Yeah, that's repetitive. That's that's kind of repetitive and makes just crazy sounds. Please compare. And then we're gonna put the Mara Bam Bam Gyo on it. Ah, well, guys, but think about it now. If a song goes bam 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 consecutively, but do you just Yeah, your tempo was slow though. Bam 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 bam. Yeah, you just like. That's bouncy. No, one thing I like. This is oh. <laughs> thing is, okay. One thing that this is like okay. This episode just turned into a cultural exchange. That's fair. One thing I've learned is that the way we dance and express ourselves through dance mm. is very different to the way that like, is true. They do so. Kiki kiki gives you a moment to get your dance moves <laughs> out. Yeah, you can <laughs> snap <laughs> in it, <laughs> pop it, like. But, Bum 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 is just like yo, let's Johnson. No, but also bum bum, it's festival music. At the end ah, of the day, it's yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the, the, yeah. The, like you're it's, supposed to be like, you know. Don't think. Exactly, just, you just dance. Just, just, just. It's like that's what you do at festivals. You just like you go, go into a trance, basically. You no, know, we're also gonna put a documentary there. Yeah. And they say this was a wedding celebration. Yes. In the documentary. Yeah. I've never seen people dance like that at Dude. a wedding, bro. I, I went like, to the club <laughs> in Egypt. Like, listen, people dance like that. Yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I was like, like, it's just, and it's always the guys. You know what they do? Yeah, because like, they separate, don't they? Yeah, like, they're females. very like, yeah, yeah they're males. very, yeah, they don't so tell party us, together. Please, please tell no, us. No, so I was at a beach club and then a song came, you know, like obviously like everybody's chilling, trying to look cool. Then this one song came on. Yeah. It was Yaha Bibi. And then like, oh. the guys were like, ah, ah. And then they're like, <laughs> Pull each other together. Like, oh. And then they're like, and uh, some people just like, obviously not everybody knows each other naturally, right? Oh, okay. And, like, oh, yeah, baby, yeah. and I'm like, wow, <laughs> what's happening? And only the guys were dancing. 
Only and, and, and then go. the girls will dance like separately. But the guys go hard though. Dude, like I but also that song that song goes in. That no, song goes Loki, in. I'm jealous. My, it's, one of, it's my favorite song. I wish South Africans would like let loose just like that. They do though. Have South you not Africans? seen South Africa? Can we not live in social media? People dance out here in clubs. No, nah, they dance. They have moves. Those guys don't have moves. There's like... Oh, I get yeah, you. Yeah, nobody cares what you look like. How you... It's I just, get you. It's dude, just I saw people like, dragging each other. No, they do. They like, do. by the shirt. But by... doesn't that give you the whole um, mosh pit thing? Yeah, no, but... Yo, mosh pit. similar are... to mosh pits. No, it is. No, but yeah. like... Have you seen a mosh pit at a piano event? No, but I've seen... A, like, that's... But black people don't do that. You That's know? what I'm saying. Black people are like more like we should more start rhythmic. Mosh- black people, we should start mosh pitting more. Nah, we're good. <laughs> we we're, should. We're, I'm fine. We should. Mosh pitting is for the mosh pitters. It's fine. Yeah, and I also, want... certain music brings that out in that you. energy. Yeah, you know what I mean. That energy. And it's not even like specific. I'm not, let me not say like black people, but like popular black music does yeah, not bring that kind of... it's not that tempo, of, it's yeah. not that high, it's not that aggressive. Mm. Yeah, the energy is a bit more mellow. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, guys, um, should they check out say? the beer? I think they should definitely should check, they out, check the out the beer. Check out the, 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 music, the genre. Like, okay, like we really want feedback because yeah, we've, yeah. we've been having this back and forth in studio mm. and we just can't come to an agreement. So we really want the feedback as to what you guys think of the music. Yeah. And please juxtapose it to our like yes. music culture, like the piano scene. Yeah. But and when you check it out, definitely check out Mohammed Ramadan. He's like super popular. Yeah, like, not the hundred. Yeah, three hundred like, million views. Like bum bum, he did. He did the yeah, Hadidi. Yeah, yeah which, Habibi. Which means baby. Yeah, it means babe, but like sweetie, sweet so, ad. Yeah. Oh, Habibi. It means Imagine. like you know, like <laughs> my person. You know. No. So, like you must call your person Habibi. If I was Arabic, nicely, like, yes. Habibi, you know. Like, if I was Arabic, I would. But yeah, I'll should. just confuse the poor girls out there. But I get on more, 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 more can I say it's like, mm, oh, Habibi. Nah, I would, a lot of guys were calling me Habibi in Egypt, so. Oh, mm. look at you. Oh, look at you. You know. Yeah, maybe I'll brush up on my Arabic. Yeah, you Actually, should. Actually, next time I come across someone that does speak Arabic, you I'm going to try that. Okay, that's going to be so awkward. Imagine now it's like, at work or something. It's like, ah, oh, Habibi. And it's like, I'm uh, making it weird. This is supposed to be a professional work environment. Yeah, I'm making it weird. But... But you make everything weird. Yeah, actually. this is joy. What? <laughs> this is joy. You never know. It might work. Yeah. It might work. It might work. Yeah. But yeah, let's just wrap up. Okay, let's. so... Questions. Yes. Don't forget. This is a, a bit, uh, the last yeah. chance that you have to ask us some questions. Whatever you want to know about us, we'll answer it in our... Uh, the same no, whenever we yeah. shoot next when we're shooting all together we'll be on this couch all four of us whole team squad deep you can ask us whatever you want squad so deep. don't forget to ask the questions in the comments how long is that episode gonna be though I don't know I think we'll try cap it at 30 we'll try okay because I don't want it to be but too it also long. depends on the questions yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 yeah. but I don't want it to be long and then people like halfway through are just like this is boring like, I don't want to watch it yeah. like yeah. yeah do we cite oh. the names when they sorry do we, will we cite the names of the questions well, if they want to, you guys can yeah, decide. Like, but can, I think we should. Yeah. Yeah. Either why or, not? If you don't want Unless, to be named, if you don't want to be named, just say just anonymous. Say, yeah, like anonymous, like yeah, yeah, so that it's you know. Fair. Like it's how what she is. Arar Arar Oh yeah, are you chugging, not me. Oh, I'm watching you chug. Okay. Do I chug first? Do we sign Let's, off? Let's. I'm getting open lines and then. Oh, so he'll record as a. Okay. So yeah. Don't stop recording until we're done. Okay. Yeah. So. <laughs> good. <laughs> good times. Open minds. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh are you alright <laughs> no no that was vicious Ooh. are you gonna vomit no 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 <sighs> just gassy <laughs> <laughs> alright that Good. was an experience I need water okay bye guys peace out man <laughs> peace out y'all